What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to time an engine. All right, so if you're in a situation like me and you put stuff together with junk and everything doesn't kind of, you know, match up like it should, you might come into some issues. Me, the issue I'm having right now is I have a balancer that doesn't line up with my little timing mark thing right there. So essentially, I'm going to make new marks on it and all that fun stuff. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to find top dead center anyways we're gonna mark it and then time this engine all right so what you're gonna to want to do first is find top dead center on your number one cylinder oh that's hot so they start cranking the engine over Till start hearing air come out of that number one cylinder. I already took the spark plug out and everything. So we're going to keep turning this over. Hot. So just put your finger over it. Ow. That's really hot. Okay. So what I ended up doing is I just stuck a screwdriver in my spark plug hole right there. And I brought it up until it was at its highest point and I could kind of feel it with the screwdriver. And I pretty much came up with this spot right here. Um, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna mark that. I'm gonna kind of use like a little, oh, sorry. Finger was in the way. So I'm gonna, Mark that as zero. I'm gonna put like a little star where the zero is, and then what I'm gonna do is every 10 degrees that I turn it over, I am going to mark it. And then from there, I will be able to get it right in time, or I'll be able to get it right in time where it needs to be. So let's go get the light out. Okay, so I think I figured out the other part of my issue is my timing was off by like a good 10 degrees or so. Because my marks, I marked them before and uh, I was just off by 10 degrees. So that could have been the issue the whole entire time of why it was just kind of falling on its face at wide open, open throttle. Well, not the whole issue, because definitely adjusting the valves, which I did in the last video, definitely helped. So, now I'm going to go get my timing gun, and we're going to go and retime this. Oh, and I also found out I got a leak in my radiator, so that's great. Ah, oh, fun, fun, fun. It's a never-ending thing. Alright, so we're going to go grab my time timing light. Right here. Come on, there we go. Mosey on back this way. And we're gonna put the number one spark plug back in and get that all hooked up. So I'm gonna do that quick. Okay, so spark plugs in. That little connectors on the number one spark plug wire. And this is hooked up to the battery. So hopefully, we can all get it all timed and stuff. We'll start it up and we'll see where we're sitting at right now. Oh, be good if I get my keys. Right, so now we're gonna see where we're sitting at. So, from what it looks like, we're right at about 13 degrees or so, which is not bad for where we want at idle, but we kind of want around 34 for uh, total timing, so I'm going to crank up the idle and we're going to see where we're at.
right around 3,000 RPM. And we'll check the timing and see where we're at. to like 42, or uh, not 42, 34, 33, right in there. So I'm gonna adjust that quick. All right, so that's better. My leak's still leaking, which isn't good. But anyway, now it's all time to, we're gonna go crank the idle back down. That's all set. The leak's not. We gotta finish that up. Where are we sitting now? Yeah. It's at about seven degrees at idle, which I mean is okay, I guess. We're mostly looking for a, uh, you know, total timing that's where we're having the issue that idle I can deal with it being a little little off so I'm gonna go throw a little bit more cooling in here oh that's dumb all right well I'm gonna let it cool off first put more cooling in then we'll take it for a test drive yep and of course as I am uh, closing my hood I end up breaking my little hood latch but I guess whatever they're only like 10 bucks it's just annoying it's just been one of those days so far like first my radiator starts leaking and uh then that breaks <sighs> but at least it's time now right where it should be at least so yep okay All right, well, let's take it for a quick trip before it overheats. Ugh. All right, so let's take it for a quick rip. It's gross, I'm sweaty, I got done with the gym and I started working with this. So, I guess let's hurry up and let's get this done and over with. Here we go. Something. Well, 
well, how did I at least time your engine?